Hey guys, how's it going? This is the Bold Metal Nerd coming at you with another wonderful video and it's hard to get this whole thing in shot. Um, I am doing an unboxing and in-depth review of uh, some really cheap speakers. Uh, some The Dayton Audio B60, B652 Airs and uh, yeah, there's the bottom of the box and there's the top. Um, my box did come a bit damaged, unfortunately, in the mail. Uh, I don't blame Parts Express or the manufacturer for that. That's just the way it went. Uh, there's not really... I'll take the speed. I'll go ahead and open the box up. And I'll show you guys inside the box. It's not really much to see, but I know people like to see this stuff. As we raise the camera up, 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 so you can get that live unboxing experience. It's exciting, right? We've got styrofoam. We have. Looks like we got a pair of speaker wires and a book, which I'll go over. And we're going to take the speakers themselves out. There's one. And just so in case I know some people love to see the inside of boxes, and there's number two. So now let's throw the box aside there. And now we got the speakers themselves. these wonderful bags exciting stuff I know right so we'll lower the camera a bit and we'll just tear open one of these units here and I guess I'll take the other one off the desk because these are going to be identical we don't need to see both of them right now I know, right? It's tearing into this thing. Alright, there we go. Okay. Uh, initial out of the box impressions. The speaker is actually heavier than I thought it would be. I mean, it's not huge or anything, obviously, but, you know, it's got the spring terminals on the back, lovely mounting. The cabinet feels, you know, solid enough to me, has a decent weight to it. Lower the camera a bit, get a better look at the actual speaker unit. I'll go ahead and pop the grill off. The pop. Yeah, the, the grill pops off real easy. Obviously you can see I'm doing it with one hand. Not having too much trouble. Um, we got the uh, Dayton Audio logo there. It's metal. It's nice. There's the back of the grill. I know, this is like super duper exciting stuff. And uh, we've got, obviously, a real basic speaker here. We have um, a rubber surround on the um, driver. We got a basic paper driver. And we got the AMT tweeter. Uh, I do have to say, guys, my initial out-of-the-box impression of the speaker, considering its price point, is incredibly positive. 43 bucks a pair and you got nice solid construction. I have no idea how these things actually sound yet, but I have to say the build quality for the cost, incredible. Incredible. You know, these are nice solid seemingly well constructed speakers. They don't feel cheap. Um, I know they are cost wise, but they certainly don't feel it or even really look it. I think they look totally fine as well. Um, so, 
I'm going to go ahead and read this book and share any pertinent information. Um, and then we'll come back and we'll do a bunch more review stuff. So see you in a little bit. Alright guys, just a few notes before I get into really the main meaty part of this um, review. Uh, the speaker wires that these come with are fairly quote unquote uh, low grade as in they're really small gauge. I'm going to see if I have some better speaker wire hanging around. If I don't, I will just use these. Um, but you certainly don't have to spend a lot. Just just lamp cord would be an upgrade from this. And With these speakers, considering how inexpensive they are, that would probably be a fine choice. So I'm going to just see what I have, see if I have a thicker gauge of speaker wire to use. If not, I'll still just use these because these definitely beat nothing. Everybody who reviews this says it. I'm just throwing that in for completeness. Um, I did look look through the manual. There's not a whole lot in here. Um, there is some interesting things about uh, speaker placement. Uh, it tells you basically how to move them around to get like the best listening position, which honestly in a speaker that's this inexpensive, that's surprising. Uh, there are the specs. If you want to see them, pause and read on your own time. So that's it. Uh, when you next see me, uh, we're gonna do. I'm gonna do a full review of this thing. We're gonna do some sound demos. We're gonna have all sorts of fun, like that. So um, see you guys in a while, because I gotta live with these before I can render any sort of verdicts. See ya. Okay, guys, I actually did a little bit of research on cables. Uh, I think these are 20 gauge cables that these come with. I could be entirely wrong. I have no idea if that's accurate or not, but. That seems to be the consensus on the internet. Unfortunately, in the book, it doesn't specify what gauge the wires it comes with are, but I'll give you guys a close-up of the ends there. Um, I did check around, and I have um, I found some 18-gauge wire, which are th which is thicker than this. Uh, oh man, I can just try to show these off side by side here. And yeah, they are they are a bit thicker, but it's not a gigantic difference. Um, so I considered using this 18 gauge, but I decided to do some Googling, right? And here's what I found. Um, and I will link this in the video description just in case you guys are curious about this. Basically, I found this site that talks about uh, the ohm load. These are six ohm speakers, by the way. So the ones I care about regarding the speaker are the six ohm load. And uh, even if these things are 22 gauge, uh, they could be nine feet and not run into any problems, right? So, um, and these cables are eight feet, the ones they come with. So I'm just gonna use these for now rather than, you know, cutting, cutting some of this off and stripping it. It's not exactly difficult, but I'll save myself that slight labor. Uh, that, and I just wanted to, you know, save this for when I actually need it, <laughs> right? So, um, yeah, I'll just use these for now. Uh, now, if I find that the um, sound is lacking in any way, I haven't hooked these things up yet, so I have no idea what they sound like. But if I feel the sound is lacking, yeah, I'll give these, I'll give this a try at that point. Uh, but till then, we'll just, uh, I'll just stick with these, and uh, yeah. So I'll be back with my uh, out of the box sound impressions. You'll get my my uh, real time reaction to how these things sound. So see you guys in a bit. Alright guys, I've had a chance to listen to these speakers um, a bit more. Uh, so what are my conclusions on this one? Well, uh, I think these speakers, for their price, are really good. Um, you have to be realistic with your expectations with a pair of speakers that sells for under $50. Um, they are not going to be super high fidelity. Um, but, that being said, they're pretty good. Um, I bought these, just to give you a little bit of background on why I got these, these were actually a Valentine's Day, early Valentine's Day gift from my wife. Um, so, I didn't want them to be expensive. I wanted to keep a, definitely be a low cost, uh, alternative. So, and... This is a very much a secondary audio system uh, that these are hooked up to. 
Essentially, uh, this is just to provide background music slash movies slash games if I'm exercising or doing other things here in the basement. Uh, this is nothing like my primary listening system, so it doesn't have to be super high fidelity. And I think I am extremely pleased uh, with the music listening on this for that purpose. Uh, I've been walking, we're in a much larger area than what I usually listen in. Uh, this is definitely not my listening room. And I needed something that would put out sound to a large area and do it fairly well. And for that purpose, these speakers deliver. Uh, now, just to describe my thoughts on the sound, I think they are lacking a bit in the mids, uh, and definitely a uh, bit in the bass, but over, they do have some bass, and they put out a good volume of sound, right? Uh, they are a bit muddy sounding overall, but again, for the price, they're 45 bucks for the pair. You can't really complain very much. Um, now, that being said, uh, I would only use these as a secondary set of listening speakers. If these are your only speakers, honestly, I would double your, if you can, double your budget to around $100 and you can get much, much, much better speakers for the money than what you can get than these. Uh, but if all you guys, 50 bucks, these will do. These will also work well as uh, surround speakers in a surround sound setup. So um, basically I would recommend it for either one of those applications and overall I think these uh, represent great value for the money. Now um, I am going to link in the uh, video description below a link to my uh, Amazon affiliate link and if you enjoyed this content and you like this channel please and you want to get these speakers please consider uh, going to that link because that helps me out tremendously uh, because making these videos honestly is a lot of work and any little bit anything you could do to help can help so um, I'm gonna wrap up my commentary on these speakers now and I'm gonna get to the sound demos I figured I would just do my commentary first then to, then do sound demos so um, the first sound demo I'm gonna do is going to be here in this main listening area of uh, where I'm going to have these speakers placed, okay? And then you're going to see a different, uh, the listening room, and uh, the, sound, the second set of sound demos will be there. So basically, that's it for commentary. Good value for the money, for the application. But if you can't spend more, you'll get a lot better sound. But for what they are, they're pretty good. So anyway, that's it. On to the sound demo. Uh, we're going to be doing some various tracks from the YouTube Music Library, of course, just like in the other uh, sound demo you're going to hear later.
Okay, so I've had a chance to uh, listen to these uh, a bit. I'm sorry you're not getting my real-time reaction out of the box. That just wasn't possible with uh, what was going on uh, with these speakers because I had to make sure they were hooked up right and everything. So I just did some listening. Uh, and I'm going to be completely honest. When I first took these out of the box, um, I was completely unimpressed by them. And part of the reason for that is I did a rather unfair comparison when I first took, took them out of the box. The speakers I was directly comparing them to uh, were my tower speakers, which are JBL Northridge uh, E90s, which cost $800 a pair. Um, so I was comparing <laughs> essentially $40 speakers or $45 speakers to $800 speakers. And yeah, uh, not even close. So I decided to cleanse my palate a bit and listen only to um, those speakers. Uh, and listen to speech and, uh, you know, music alone on those. And I thought, honestly, they sounded pretty good. Uh, not perfect, but pretty good. Uh, so my opinion of them went up significantly after that. Um, then I decided to compare them to basically uh, their repl the speakers that I was hoping to replace. The ones that I was using before in the, in the application I was using were the uh, Polk, the ones on top are Polk Audio OWM3s, which basically stands for on wall monitor. They are meant only as surround sound speakers and they are fairly decent uh, as we're going to get to when uh, we do the sound demo here in a moment. But they are certainly not really well suited for filling a large area with sound adequately. So, um, what I'm going to do, guys, uh, obviously, is we're about to start the sound demo. So, um, and the first one we're going to do is without subwoofer, um, because I just wanted to start off by saying, yes, the subwoofer uh, is needed with these speakers. Yes, they put out some bass, but a subwoofer helps tremendously. So we're going to be listening to these things with and without a subwoofer uh, compared, of course, with the Polk Audios. And uh, what I'm going to be doing is throughout the sound demos, I'm going to be switching. And when I switch, I'm going to be announcing which one is which so you guys will know uh, what we're listening to. So I'm going to go ahead and pause. We're going to do sound demo number one, which is going to be without the subwoofers. And uh, you'll get to hear it. See you in a second. Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and uh, start the sound demo now. Now, I realize that this is not the greatest way to experience the speakers through uh, recording on YouTube, etc., etc., etc. We're just doing this so you can get a relative idea of the sound of these things, at least compared to what I had. So if you're in some sort of similar situation, maybe you can hear how it sounds in comparison, blah, blah, blah. Maybe you'll get some sort of an idea of the frequency response, all that kind of stuff. You won't really hear what these things truly sound like, but maybe it's some sort of an approximation. And uh, I'm going to when I switch between the two speakers, between the Polks and the uh, Daytons, I will say which one's which. Uh, we are going to be starting off with the uh, Dayton Audio. So those are the ones we're starting off with. And I'm going to go ahead and just start with uh, this random thing from the YouTube Music Library. <laughs>
Okay, I think that's enough on that one. Um, once we're done, I'm going to give you my impressions of the sound signatures, by the way. And uh, we're starting another song now. Uh, again, we're going to be starting with the Dayton's. And when I switch before again, I'm going to call it out. So here we go. <laughs> There's that. So uh, next song here is, I guess, called Shawl Paul. Exciting stuff. And we are starting on the Dayton's, by the way. So uh, we're doing another song here, and we're going to do another. Um, we're gonna start with the uh, with the Polks again, and uh, yeah, we're gonna start with the Polks. So I'm sorry, not the Polks. Jeez, I'm sorry, guys. The Daytons. We're starting with the Daytons. So here we go. Actually, let's do it. Wait, I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit in this one because it doesn't really get going for a bit. There we go. So these are the dates. Back to the dates. Now back to the 
more song um, and we're gonna be again we're starting on the Dayton's and I will be calling it out as we switch so here we go we're starting on the, on the Dayton's much the end of the sound demos at least what we're actually really listening for just for a little bit of fun now I am going to actually play something through both sets of speakers at the same time uh, this is for uh, all the metalheads out there this is uh, actually a friend of mine his band so we're gonna take a little bit to listen to his one of his songs um, so yeah let's 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 uh, actually yeah we'll take a listen and see how it sounds so here goes Skip ahead a little bit. That was just a little bit of fun, guys. <laughs> Not meant to be any sort of a real thing, but that is what basically they sound with both on. But just for fun, I will play uh, another thing that's a little less crazy than that through both sets of speakers, just so you can hear it. Just, just for fun. We'll do. Uh, we'll skip ahead. I have to say combined, they sound pretty good. I think that's enough of the sound demo without the subwoofer. Um, I do have some thoughts on that, which I will share um, after I do my second sound demo. We're going to do it um, with a subwoofer. So I'm going to pause real quick. We're going to get uh, a subwoofer involved, and then uh, we'll be back. All right, guys, here we are with part two of the sound demo. This is going to be with the subwoofer we are starting off with the Dayton audios and as I switch again I will call out when I switch so here we go <laughs> Thank you. 
one more time. Okay, it gives us an idea of that sound, song. On to the next one, must be a duck, I guess. And we are starting off on the Daytons, by the way. Okay, next one is this. We're on the date and starting off, by the way. Okay, moving on. Ooh, that weird song, This Is Not a Dolphin Again, huh? I will do the skip ahead. We are starting off on the Daytons. Over 
more time. And last song, and we are going to be starting off on uh, Dayton Audience again. second sound demo here comes the next part okay um, I guess in this part I'm going to talk about the differences I heard between uh, the Dayton audios and the Polks that these are essentially replacing um, I thought the overall frequency response on the Polks is actually a little bit better than the Dayton's but the uh, Dayton's had a much beefier presentation uh, and can fill up the room a lot more with sound than the Polks can. And that's essentially why I got these. So even though the overall frequency curve might be a bit better on the Polks, uh, the Dayton's, for the purpose I got them, are much better. So um, that's pretty much it. If you managed to make it all the way through this video, watched all my review parts, the whole sound demo, everything, wow, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. Um, I do realize that, again, these sound demos are an iffy thing, but people seem to like them. Um, yeah, overall, again, just finishing up by saying I'm very thankful that I got these speakers. They're quite good, and um, I would recommend them for certain applications. So that's it. Um, if you're new to the channel, uh, take a look around. Uh, if you like what you see, subscribe. If not, that's fine, too. Um, that's it. So thank you so much for watching. Live long and prosper. Keep on rocking.